All right, I think we're good. All right, well, hi, my name is Angelica Rivera, and I am the ninth grade English teacher, and I'm also the ninth grade lead. Um, and if you follow us on Instagram, that's me. Um, so uh, thank you so much for coming today. And Ms. Hilson? Hi, everyone. My name is Ms. Hilson. I am the school counselor at College Achieve for the Colt Street campus. And that means I help uh, support your babies academically, professionally, and also um, with their college and career plans for grades seven through 10. And then we have Ms. Ms. Robinson. Hello, good evening, everyone. My name is Ms. Robinson. I am the English language arts supervisor and administrator at College of Chief Patterson. I am primarily at the Cold Street campus, but I do help um, teachers at Market, Market Street campus with curriculum and instruction. Um, the purpose of my presence this evening is that we do have some international travel opportunities for scholars in grades six through 10. Um, and I just wanted to give you a brief overview of what all of that entails and an opportunity to have an offline conversation with me about getting your scholars signed up. And Ms. Dobson, did you want to say hello before we get started? Yes, I'm sorry that I'm off camera. I'm in the middle of doing something in my office right now. <laughs> but I'm Ms. Dobson. I'm the Dean of Culture and Climate. And I'm so happy to have you all here on our first parent university for the school year. Um, Ms. Robinson, did you want to go first? Yes. Yeah, so I just wanted to... Um, introduce the summer of a lifetime opportunities for our scholars here at College of Chief Patterson. Um, Adventure in Belize is a trip that's going to take place um, summer 2022. Um, we already have seven scholars enrolled on that trip um, that will be led by myself. So I will be the uh, teacher chaperone or group leader is what they call it. And that will be accompanied with one of the EF tour directors. Um, Oh, thank you, Ms. Rivera. Um, EF tour directors who is with us 24-7. Um, this is an all-inclusive trip. Um, there is a cost associated with the trip. The scholars who are enrolled have been paying for over a year now. Um, so that travels kind of soon. But if you're interested, I can send you the information. We also have a trip for Panama um, that will take place summer 2023. There's also a, a cost associated with that trip, and parents have begun to leave deposits. I do believe we only have three slots left available for this trip, but I did want to announce it and give you guys the opportunity to sign on. Some great things are brewing in terms of funding and um, funding and fundraising. So we are committed to fundraising for the trip from now until we depart summer 2023, but we have... Um, you know, been granted some additional funds that will potentially um, be of service to the scholars who are interested. So um, while the trip is, is expensive, it's affordable over time and paired with fundraising, I think that it could be affordable for most, not all. It's not a, a, an all situation, but if it's something that you're interested in um, having your scholars attend, please do not hesitate to give me and shoot me an email at tRobinson at collegeachieve.org and I will call you with that pertinent information or I can send it to you so that you can over look it over and see if it's something that you're still interested in. Um, these international trips are something that we want to implement and um, keep going for the remaining school year. So our current uh, freshman students will be entering their sophomore year as they attend. Um, eighth graders will be entering their freshman years, you know, and so on and so forth. Um, and we want to offer a travel, international travel opportunity for um, every school year. Um, and scholars have the opportunity to earn college credit for these, for their international travel plans and partial uh, half credit for high school um, while they're there. So it's a, it's a, adventure pack trip. There's touristic things that um, scholars are involved in. They are, it's a jam packed day. They learn so much culture and about um, the, the, the locals there, the food, the music, um, the arts and the adventure. So I think that um, it's a great opportunity for scholars to go with the school, um, with an accredited um, organization that's been around for 55 plus years. So 
If it's something that you're interested in, once again, please send me an email and I will send the information directly to you. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any like quick questions, you can uh, put in the chat and I'll try to answer because I don't want to take up too much more time. And I know that we came for other reasons. So thank you so much. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you, Ms. Robinson. I dropped Ms. Robinson's email. I will respell it because I spelled that incorrectly. Um, I will drop her email back into the chat um, so that you can contact her with more in, if you need more information or you have any particular questions. No problem. All right, Ms. Hilson, are you ready? Yes. Um, as we prepare and as Ms. Rivera pulls up the presentation, um, if you can really quickly in the chat, if you can find it, can you tell us what grades your child or children are in so we know how to make sure we target this presentation specifically for those grades? I would tell everyone to come off of mute or to like come off the camera, but that may be inconvenient. Okay. Thanks, uh, Presley. Eighth, first and eighth, okay. We have some sixth graders here. A ninth grader. We got a 10th grader. Okay. Okay. All right, awesome. So um, this is a presentation on using the school notification app called Remind. Um, this is right now it's being used in the ninth grade. We kind of piloted it. Uh, tenth grade will be starting it soon. Um, and other grades are welcome to use it um, if they so choose to. But predominantly for the high school, we are we are moving away from class dojo. Um, and we are moving on to something a little bit more mature for the scholars. Um, class dojo sometimes can be a little childish. So we do want to make them feel older. And this app, after you see how it works and what it does, you'll see why we choose to use this um, in the high school predominantly. So here is our agenda. Um, we're going to talk to you about what it is and who uses it. Uh, Ms. Hilson will take you, uh, she will show you her phone and take you step by step on how to download it. Um, then Ms. Hilson will add herself to my class as if she was a parent so that you can see that process. And she will even send a message to me so that you can see kind of how that works um, and how it alerts you. So Remind is a school communication app that allows students, um, which is probably the main reason why I use it. Um, it allows students and parents to communicate directly to the teacher. Um, so it's sort of like Dojo in the way that we get messages. However, with Remind, it's more like a texting app that is private and secure. So you can't see my phone number, I can't see your phone number, and the same way with the students, but it comes to your phone like a text message um, which is what most of our kids are used to doing is texting. Um, so this app is set up to look more like texting than messages. Um, so the people that use Remind right now, like I said, it's, it's ninth grade piloted it to see how it would work. Um, tenth grade will be jumping on board very, very soon. Um, it's used by teachers all over the world uh, to connect digitally with their students and it's used by families to be able to connect with their teachers. Okay, so now Ms. Hilson and I are gonna take you through the steps. So you can um, download it. You can also go to remind.com um, remind and, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we'll, you can go on the website and do it from your computer. You can also download the app, which is the main purpose of using it is the convenience of the app. So Ms. Hilson will take you through the downloading process. All right, so if everyone, if you already have it, that's fine. But if you don't, please go to your app store or your Google Play and you're going to download Remind. It comes up just like that blue little uh, square with a think box 
I think it's a thing. Is it a brain? A brain, a white brain in the middle. Um, and sometimes when you're typing in remind, it may say school communication. That's the one that you want to choose. I'll give everyone a minute to download. All right, so I purposely made sure that I only downloaded it and I didn't go through the process so that we can go through this together step by step. Um, I'm gonna do my best to highlight my phone. So when you pull up Remind, it's going to be a white background. You may see some people walking back and forth behind it, but it's gonna have Remind at the top. Then it's going to ask you for an email address or a phone number, or you can sign up with your Google. Um, it may be easier to sign up with Google. It may be a lot faster. So, but I'm going to do my phone number for right now. And I just want to remind you again, it is secure. So I don't see Ms. Hilson's phone number when she signs in. And Ms. Hilson will not see my phone number once she's signed in. So for everyone who signed in, the next thing, if you put in your phone number, then it's going to, the next box that pops up is check your text messages, which I just did. And so now I'm going to put the number, the code in that they've texted me. After we do that, it's time to create a password. And so I'm going to create a password. and then click next. The next thing is the user agreement. So we're going to accept. And then after that, the next screen, it says, tell us about yourself. And on the bottom, there are four options. So it says that I'm a teacher, I'm a student, I'm a parent, I'm an administrator. So I am going to click for the purpose of this example, I'm gonna say that I'm a parent. So I click on, I'm a parent. I'm gonna type in my full name. So I just put Ms. Hilson and click next. Then it says, join your first class. So Mr. Rivera, can you uh, show us the codes? Uh, yep, all right. So now I'm going to join Ms. Rivera's class, which is at the top. So her code is six, F as in Frank, B as in boy, G as in girl, the number four, F as in Frank, and D as in David. And I'm gonna click done. And it says, welcome to Remind Ms. Hilson. Start using Remind in two easy steps. So for the sake of the presentation, I'm gonna go through all the steps that says to get started. So we're gonna click on get started. It shows me how do I receive notifications. So I can set notifications, yes, allow, or however your phone um, sets up notifications. It also asks me if I want to invite anyone else, um, message any peers, family members, or colleagues. So I'm gonna say no to that one. And I'm just gonna skip it. So now at the top of Remind, it says ninth grade parents. And then underneath where it says messages, I can see Ms. Rivera's class right there at the top of my list. So I've joined Ms. Rivera's class. I clicked on her name where it says A. Rivera. And this is how we'll be able to start contacting Ms. Rivera. So it's gonna say, this is the beginning of your message history with A. Rivera. And we do it like a regular text message on the bottom. So I'm gonna say, hello, testing. <laughs> yes, Ms. Presley, you can come off of mute. I'm sorry, I missed the code. I was, cause I'm doing other stuff too. I'm You're fine. Still it's right there. You can. We can just. We're all doing it with Miss Rivera's class for right now. Okay. And 
And just so you can see what I see on my end while some people are still logging on, it comes directly to my phone. Sorry about my background, a little bright. It comes directly to my phone and let me, it notified me that I had a new parent join. So it comes directly to your phone, just like a text message. And the cool thing about this is that you can send pictures. You can send a voice note if you like voice notes, if that's your thing. Um, but also it translates for you as well, which is also very convenient. Um, and it's very similar to the dojo process. Um, so I'm gonna send Ms. Rivera this message that just says, hello, testing. I'm gonna send it to her. And let's see, one second ago, let's see if Ms. Rivera is going to receive my message. Already received Ms. Hilson's message. So, and it alerts me, ding, 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 I unlock it, and I'm able to answer her right away. Right away from my phone. Also, I'm sharing my desktop view of my remind, and you can see, well, it, I just read her message. So the little red icon disappeared. But if I were to click here to my parents, I can see. Candace Presley joined my class. I see you there. Hello, Ms. Candace Presley. And there is Ms. Hilson's message to me that says, hello, just testing. Um, so I can get it right here. Or when I'm at school, I usually have the desktop um, open so that I can send messages to parents and, and um, things of that nature. But when I'm not at my computer, it's really nice to have it in the convenience of your pocket. Um, and I use it for my students. So I'll show you a little bit of what that looks like. Um, I think that it's important, especially with high schoolers, that they are able to contact their teachers if they have questions, um, because we are teaching them to be more responsible and take responsibility for their education. So if they have questions, they should be reaching out to their teachers for the clarifications. Um, so here you can see I have messages with various students asking questions about homework. Um, they've even submitted pictures of homework that they've completed. Um, where it's had to be done in the book and they weren't in school. So they were able to take a, you know, a picture with their cell phone of it, a screenshot of it and send it directly to me. So there was no pause in me being able to give them a grade for an assignment. Um, you can see here that I can post announcements or, and that goes to everybody. If I post an announcement, every kid gets the homework board, every kid gets important messages, or I can directly message a particular student or mom uh, or dad or grandma, grandpa, you know, any of the parent people or guardians that are in there. I can send individual messages or just a blast message if there's like a Google form or something we want the parents to fill out. Like for parent teacher conferences, we usually send that out, you know, to everybody, not just one or two people. So it's a it's a great way to have it and it keeps the record of those files. Um, for you to be able to go back and view at any time. So even if you're like, oh no, when was picture day? That file will always be there for you to be able to refer back to. Um, it's fun too. The students can leave little messages and they can, um, you can have them like, make sure you heart this if you read it. Um, and they can add little, I will show you, they can add, I'll go back to Ms. Hilson's message. They can add like reactions to your messages. Um, the translate button Ms. Hilson was talking to you about is right at the bottom. And this is how you can attach all different files. So I clicked it. So it's going to take me to my file board. Um, and then you can attach any image. So if I wanted to send Ms. Hilson the homework board, I would click on my document that I have. And now it's there and I can just send her a picture um, right away. I think my internet's a little shoddy right now. So. Sorry about that, but it would go right through. It's just my internet's a little shoddy right now. Send it. Um, but yeah, Remind's really awesome. Yes. Yeah, so um, as we're transitioning to Remind for our scholars in Colt Street, um, please be on the lookout for your emails because the teachers will be emailing you saying, hey, this is my Remind code. Please join. Um, and so it's really, really important to check your emails because sometimes we know that that's the best way to reach parents. Phone numbers change all the time. Sometimes it, how you hand wrote your phone number on the registration form, it looks like a six, but it's really a zero. Um, so, you know, we try our best to reach you guys in different ways. So please just be on the lookout for your emails. 
if we do reach out to you in Dojo, the old platform, um, letting you know like, hey, we're transitioning to Remind, please be on the lookout for those things too. Are there any? Now that you provided the school. So if you have various emails, the one that you provided on your child's registration forms would be the email that they would send this to. So if that's not an email that you predominantly use in the next, you know, for the next at least month while we're transitioning and moving over and all of that, just be logging into it and checking it at least once a week so that you don't miss this important information for you to be able to contact um, parents. I mean, the, the, the teachers. Right. Are there any questions? You can come off of mute or you can raise your hand and you can ask questions. Okay. Um, I'll put my email in the chat for you guys, just in case you do have any questions. All right. Um, well, Mr. Bear, if you um, would like to stop recording, and we want to thank everyone for joining us today, um, we really appreciate it.